here he is, Nico Belek. Nico, these are my two brothers. Well, two of my brothers, the two that count. Derek and Gerald. Hi. Derek has just returned to the family fold after a good few years in the old country, involved in the struggle. Sort of like you, I'd imagine. And Jerry? Jerry's the man. And you remember Michael, St. Michael? <laughs> yes, yes, it's uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Nico's a trip, man. I met him through that Puerto Rican coke dealer. So you want to involve him in family business? What do you know about him? What I know is he likes a fight and he ain't the fucking law. Oh. No offense, mister. That ain't good enough. Well, it's good enough for me. He's a good lad, Jerry. Uh, was I talking to you in bread halfwit? <clears throat> I make a point of not talking to the unfortunate victims of brother-sister marriage. Don't you speak about my parents like that. Oh, you're like fucking Cleopatra. Fifteen generations of brother-sisters fucking, and you're so thick you take orders off my idiot brother Packy. Who's so stupid, he had to tattoo his name on his arm. If there is a problem, I'll go. No trouble. I have other ways of making money. There's no problem. Jerry just likes to think he knows best about everything, which is why he's been married three times already and still won't admit he likes men. <laughs> ah, no problem. I'll leave you boys to it. Don't screw up. Packy, take care of Derek. He's been away. And you? Nothing personal, but don't fuck with my family or I will fuck with yours. All right, we're heading to the Southern Algonquin branch of the Bank of Liberty. Nico, you're the designated driver. Go Jesus! Hey, yo! Let's do this. Okay, you're causing a traffic jam. Gerald was very clear about the way things is going down, boys. Me and Michael are on the civilians. Derek and Nico are on employees. Derek, did you sort out the charge for the vault door? What's that mean? Of course I sorted out the charge. What do you think I've been doing all day? I don't know. Nodding off with a needle sticking out of your arm? Patrick, you were such a sweet little boy when I left this city. You was gone a long time, Derek. From what I remember, you've changed too. This is an emotional need to get abusive. There was no need for a brother and sister to get married, but your parents did that, and now you're here. I can think of one reason they needed to get married. They were so ugly that no one else would have them. <laughs> Nothing like a sibling's love, eh, Derek? Nothing like it. Nothing could make me love Francis, though. Fucking Frankie. He'd be pissed if he could see us now. Here we are. Wait until you're inside to get ballied up. get a medal for playing hero, all you're gonna get is a bullet to the heart. Don't none of you worry about nothing. We're here for the bank's money. It's going to a greater cause. Shut up and handle the safe. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door! Open the fucking door. Okay, okay, wait a minute. I got it. Get on the floor. Now! But, sir! You too! Okay, okay! Hey, yo! I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? Luis. But this ain't such a good idea, bro. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea, because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world is built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE-4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's going to make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. 
That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do! I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half a Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night! Motherfucker! Ooh. Fuck! Uh. We told you not to fuck with us! Uh. Shit! Michael! Shit, fucking Michael! <laughs> fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother watch the kids! Keep your heads down! I got all the money I could. There's still some in there, though. We ain't got time to go back in. Let's move out, boys!
Since anyone else wants to die, there ain't no reason to get in my way. careful of your boy Michael. He should be with us right now. Michael was unlucky. It wasn't anybody's fault what happened to him. And the explosive did it. Someone to come through the door and break this sort of news. That does not make it. Thanks, Nico. You're a damn good man. I wasn't just driving you two. The money was in the car as well. Remember that. We won't forget it, Nico. Here's your cut. I tell Jerry you did good. He might give you a call or something.